Elder F. D. Richards attended to the call made on him to preach this evening, and as the word can't never was in his vocabulary, he is not under any trouble to expunge it. The responsibility he is under to preach to the people enables him to expect the assistance of the Holy Spirit always. The saints are the only persons on earth who can really rejoice and know that the Lord is with us. But the world, knowing nothing of the power of God, attribute our prosperity to our leaders being some of the master spirits of the age, seeing us build cities, and in a few years driven from them. And behold, in a short time we are richer than we were before, makes them give us credit for having great and mighty power. We have found one spot on the earth which was not desirable for any man to settle, and praise the Lord, the Latter-day Saints have taken possession of a refuse portion of the earth, and now we can cause the desert to bloom as the rose, and the barren wastes to be made glad. He advocated the cause of home manufacturers, and then, said he, we should have not only a gathering of people, but also a gathering of substance. If the money that has been paid out for a single article of sugar was not in the valley, there would be a comfortable circulating medium for the whole territory. Again, if we can get the ironworks started in our midst, it would be a most profitable source of investment, and also prove a great benefit to the territory. Brother Erastus Snow and I are going down to Iron County with a train of goods to unite with our brethren there, and see if we can make it a blessing to the community, and so save the funds in the territory. This will give stability to the mounted interest. I look forward to a few years when I can see the wool taken from the sheep, and made into beautiful clothing by our own hands, and then you will dam up the avenue of the export of money for that article also. Here in these valleys we can see face to face and feel the heart of man beating in response to our own, but if you will go abroad in the world you find it truly, and every man is for himself, and the devil for them all. I look forward to the time when men will want to come to gain a settlement and a name in our midst for worldly gain. Yes, brethren, the time will come when the presidency will have to use their utmost power and anxiety to prevent the influx of devils in our midst, as much as we are anxious to baptize an individual for the remission of his sins. Brethren, we have either got to live the gospel, or else our faith is vain. The Lord magnifies us in the eyes of the world, as he often did when we were in Nauvoo. Persons would come from Boston to a conference. Their eyes would be so great that they would go back and report present about twice the amount of the inhabitants there were in the whole city, etc.